Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a lovely day. So today's video is going to be about how I budget, spend and save my money. As somebody that started their own business at a young age, I really feel like I had no financial help or support, like we didn't learn about it in school. So when I did start my business at 19, I kind of just went into it without really knowing much about the financial side of things. Luckily, my granddad is really good with maths and finance and stuff like that and just very gently explained to me that I would have to pay tax on what I was earning and things like that. It's a big learning curve when you're um, young and luckily I had him around to guide me in the right direction otherwise I, I think I could have probably ended up getting in a bit of trouble um, but yeah there's so many things that are so important whether you're self-employed or not whether you're employed so as my business gradually grew we thought it'd be a good idea for me to get an accountant which is what I have now and um, yeah it's been a really big learning curve for me but I think it stood me in good stead for understanding money and more about the way money works for example even those big purchases that a lot of people not everyone but a lot of people want to make throughout their lives like maybe getting a car on finance or uh, getting a mortgage on a house there is so much that goes into that and that you have to be aware of like credit reports and being on the electoral roll and so much stuff that um it took me a long time to learn about so i'd really love to make some more videos about money about how i earn my money or about how i um save it or how we got a mortgage all of those kind of things so if you would like me to maybe make this into a bit of a mini series then please do let me know and leave any questions or um video suggestion ideas video idea suggestions rather in the comments below for today's video i was going to do a bit of a mashup of all of those things but i realized when i started talking about it that um all of those topics are quite in depth and you need to talk about them with quite a lot of clarity. So what I'm gonna do is talk about this one app which I have been using and loving recently. It's called Hyperjar and when they got in touch with me about this, I instantly said to them, this is what I've been looking for for so long. So yes, I am working with Hyperjar on this video, but please believe me, I would not be recommending them or anything at all anything at all in fact but I would not be recommending them if I didn't think that they were a brilliant company with a great idea and something that I think is going to help a lot of people to budget and plan and look after your money so much better. So what is Hyperjar I hear you ask? Hyperjar is the first ever e-money account which is built entirely around you and your money relationships, priorities and plans. It's also an FCA regulated e-money account and also before I get too much further into the video I just wanted to let you know that it's completely free to download the app, you get the card for free, you can get a kids card or kids cards for free and there's no like hidden subscription fees or anything like that. Um, so I just wanted to make you clear on that one as well. I'm not going to suddenly tell you it costs this much a month or anything. Basically, what you can do with Hyperjar is divide your money into lots of different little jars to really organise your finances. Um, what I meant by I was looking for something like this for so long is that my bank account doesn't have any tools or anything on it where you can do this. And years ago, I just knew that that's the way my brain worked and I wanted to kind of compartmentalise my money into these different categories. So I did end up making a few different bank accounts but obviously that's not very practical and that's not exactly what you're meant to use them for, especially not as many as you like. So even though I do have a few different bank accounts within my like sort of other main bank account, they're not organised like this at all. It's more just like main account savings, things like that, what most people have. Um, whereas this, as soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, this is what I need. This is the way my brain works. You can divide everything up into as many jars as you like. You can colour code them and my brain really likes that as well. It feels very organised um, and just makes me feel in control of my money. And you can also have shared jars as well with people, say like your partner or your children. So let's have a look at the app and go through some of my jars. I'm going to put a screen recording here, but I'm going to be looking down a bit at my actual phone. Um, so you have your main wallet, which you can link directly to your sort of other or main bank account. 
and you can pull money into it that way. This I use mainly for those things each month. So they're not set bills that I know are coming up coming out as direct debits each month from my main bank account that are pretty much the same every single month. But they're more like those things that you know you're gonna be paying for, but they can change and you can drastically spend more on them than you thought you did. Um, and when you look at it at the end of the month, you're a bit like, oh dear. Or even those things that can come up when you least expect it, like you need to pay for something on your car, things like that, for example. So, one of our main ones is food. We are really bad in this house at budgeting for food. And even though we try and stick to a budget, it can it can vary quite a lot. Like we can have the odd takeaway every now and again, or, or now we're allowed out a bit more, we could maybe have a meal out and not really budgeted for it. And then again, by the end of the month, you look at your money and you think, oh, I, we have spent so much more on food than we should have. It's just, one of those things that if it's just all sitting in one bank account, it's just very easy to tap your card, different places, food, food, food. So what we like to do is put a certain amount of money in here each week and we have to stick to that. So we know that once that's gone, it's gone. And that is really helping us stick to our budget. So you could have that pulled in every week um, automatically into that certain jar if you wanted to and what you can do as well is to make sure that your money comes out of the right jar when you're going into somewhere so say you're going into your to do your food shop you just hold it down and you can click link until i unlink so it can just be the the one that's linked all the time or you can link just once for that payment so as you're going into say as style sainsbury's tesco wherever you're going um you just link that up link just once and you know that the money is gonna come straight out of that jar to that shop, which I just think is brilliant. I probably should have shown you already as well what the card looks like. So it comes like this. Obviously, I won't show you the uh, details on the back, um, but all your details are on the back of the card and also on your app. Um, so you can just use it like any regular card. As you can see on screen, I also have Archie's jar and Elliot's jar. It's perfect for saving up for your kids. You can again, have money going into it each month or pocket money as they do certain jobs, whatever you like. Um, but if your child is six to 17 years old, you can also get the kids card, which means that they have a little bit more control of their money. Um, I'm holding it upside down, aren't I? <laughs> they can have a little bit more control of their money. Archie absolutely loves this because we can put his pocket money onto it and he knows that, um, he can spend it or save it and it really helps to teach them about financial literacy and just you know as I wish I had have learned about money from a young age that's what we're trying to teach the kids especially Archie as he's now about to turn seven they're really cute as well the cards um, you can have little quotes on the back and we put have courage and be kind I like to put the same amount in Elliot's jar even though he doesn't yet have his own card because he's too little he's only four um, you know just so it's fair but as they get older their birthday money can go in there if they want it to from family and friends um, or we can just save money up for them. We could. We also can have like an Archie's saving jar, which he doesn't have access to, and his pocket money jar, all of things like that. I also have on here Christmas and birthdays because those are the things that seem to pop out of the blue, even though you know they're coming around every year. A lot of our family's birthdays are condensed into the summer months. We really don't have many in any other month. They're like, they start in May, June, July and August and we're like birthday, a birthday explosion. You can work out everyone's birthdays within reason that you spend money on each year, roughly how much you spend on them and then you could budget and put that into your um, birthday jar each month instead of having to find it at the time. Um, so I really like doing that as well and it's a good way to save for Christmas as well if you know what you want to have by you know the time you want to start spending money on presents, gifts, food, decorations by maybe October time. Um, you could have saved money every month for the rest of the year and you can see it filling up that jar and I just feel like you get this feeling of zen come across you. I mean obviously we haven't got loads in there yet but hopefully by next Christmas 
it will be something that we can come back to and think we've got all of our Christmas money in that jar and we don't have to worry. So I've colour coded those the same. We've got days out, obviously as it's been the summer holidays, we have been doing more days out to the zoo, um, things like that. Obviously days out don't have to be expensive, but they definitely add up. One thing I haven't mentioned yet is Hyperjar work with different partners like Shell, Tui, Feel Unique, uh, Dyson, whereas if you choose to pay into a jar ahead of spending with any of these partners, then you get a 4.8 annual growth rate. Um, so for example, we have shell garages around where we do, like most people do, I assume. So if we put money into a petrol account that is linked to shell, and you can only use that jar to pay at a shell, garage or whatever um, then you get that 4.8 annual growth rate so as well something that I really want to get and I've been thinking about it for a long time because it's quite a big purchase is the Dyson air wrap so if I save up in a Dyson jar and I know that I'm going to spend that money with Dyson then again you'll get that 4.8 annual growth rate I just think it's such a good idea because it definitely beats the interest rates of banks by a lot a lot um, and again like if you know you're going away on holiday or saving for a holiday and you know you're going to go with Tui you could have an, a, a jar for that as well I really wanted to tell you about it because I'm really passionate about it and I think a lot of you will like it and want to give it a go um, let me know what you think if you do download the app and you get your card it's really easy by the way to register it didn't take long at all to do and the card came within a few days um, so let me know what you think about it and um, I'm really excited to continue my journey with it if you'd like me to maybe even do an update at some point on how I'm getting on because I am still quite new to it so I'm learning things all the time but hopefully I explained it quite well to you I hope um, but if you do have any questions let me know in the comments box below thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much to Hyperjar for working with me and introducing me to this which I think is going to be life-changing money-wise for us. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys in another video soon. Bye, guys.